Go. 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 Oh, God, it's all gone to hell. Go, 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 oh god, it's all gone to hell. Oh, oh god, my professional status. <laughs> right, right, we're going to be shit when this is recorded. Yeah. Go, 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 It's been a tough few hours for the boss. Who on it has, been, has experienced the most pain? Who, in the last few hours, when the world has gone to hell and the flesh eaters have begun to rise from the dead, has suffered the worst? Cherry didn't think it mattered too much. They had all seen total depravity by the time they'd arrived on the bus. Her high school was a killing zone and she'd only escaped by the pure grace of God. They weren't the only survivors. Somehow, KBFL held on and had been spouting emergency support like it had for hours. That has misread that. Anyway. They barricaded the doors and continued broadcasting non-stop since the outbreak, giving advice about how to survive on your own, telling people how to do things like scavenge for food and where it's safe to sleep. Then the radio would come through loud and clear as the bus climbed to hell. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mikey McCann here. We've just been in contact with the government. Yes, folks, Uncle Sam still exists. In this last hour, we found that plans are underway to begin the saving of the country. The man I spoke to ten minutes ago, General Kobe Bryce, as this advice for you. People of America, please remain calm. We know that most of you have lost families and friends, and that for, for that we apologize for not acting sooner. But now we ask that you hang on to hope, goodness, and the American way. Also Superman. Also Superman. Our advice to survivors is to find somewhere to hunker down, somewhere they can protect. As he said this, the bus reached the top of the hill, and in the distance they had seen the house across the valley, nestled back into the woods. Lights blazing like a beacon in the oncoming dark. The bus could easily reach it before nightfall. And if you have television, a television set, please turn to Channel 55. That's Channel 55. It will broadcast updates from the government on the situation, plus more details of the threat we face. That's when the bus had swerved to avoid the little girl in the road and lurched onto two wheels. Suddenly the house seemed miles away. Cherry grabbed hold of Clint and screamed. <coughs> Right. I'm using problem solving because a little girl in the road is always a problem. Fair enough. Except if, when it's one you don't like. <laughs> <laughs> no objections. Manual dexterity to uh, grab the steering wheel better and do steering wheel things that stop the steering from wheeling out of control. Fair enough. <laughs> I'm too old for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> You're too old for me, basically. Yes. Some of this would probably go up anyway. <laughs> so. Self-confidence, self because I know that I can drive this bus for my country and the little girls <laughs> of my country. Oh, if we're going down that route, I might just start like putting in like my belief system. Like, I believe God will protect me. Who's to say you won't? <laughs> That's true. Uh, However, and, fin and finally, my my bus driving superpowers contained in this. I don't know, I'm uh, nice, unless anyone's got any objections. Oh, no, 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 I can't beat that one. Oh. I can't beat the, the country and children. <laughs> okay, this is 4d6, I'm rolling. And it is, it rolls exceptionally well. 5, 10, 15, 19. Add that to Karen, 17. It is 36. And I'm using dodge. Fairly standard. Speed. Again. Acrobatics and perform chairleading because that involves a lot of turns and shit. <laughs> so and turns and shit. <laughs> yes. My knowledge of chairleading is quite small, but I do know they jump around a lot. I, I, think, just, you know. <laughs> I think Matt is demonstrating what you mean. Right, but yes, fuck right off. If you demonstrate it for us, I will allow you to add the top and panel equipment card. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so <Four> nice. <laughs> I have your initiative card, Tim. No. Of course you can. And uh, everyone has time to sort their... Pools out. Pools out because you spotted him at a far distance. 
So feel free to put four cards in that you feel would be appropriate to fight a zombie rather than have to deal with what you've got in your pools at the moment. Um, it's the zombie going first, so I'm well happy. Uh, flow one, and it... Uh, six. Good. Okay, it spends a point of flow to roll a dice rather than shamble forward in gear, and, he, and rolls a six, which means that I'll, it's I'll zombie it pretending down. it's in 28 days so, later. <laughs> and just it's going downhill. Three, four, yeah, good five, call. Six. Good call. <laughs> going down. This arg. Oh, close. Good arg. Has nothing to do with the fact that DM shuffled that. Uh, Cherry. Right, uh, I'm going to go... One, two, three. How so are you going to show you up? How is game three? To go and moaning. Well, like, this isn't the actual fucking game. <laughs> but we have to Good practice. practice. You have to remind ourselves to say it. Screw all your asses. Um, yeah. And then you won't have time for that. <laughs> and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use distract, uh, and then my general cheerleading skills to look nice so, and beaty. So acrobatics, perform cheerleading, grace and pom poms. What are you attempting to do? To make the zombie come over here. Okay. Go, ah! That will help. I will do mosey to get next to the zombie. Right, so the plan of... Yes, you, I know, I know. However, I'm going to kill the zombie that hurt people. Ian. What? At least you don't get a I thought he said at least you don't get a yearn. I was like, what? <laughs> That's it's like having rage in here all over again. <laughs> Look, I want to save the goddamn zombie. zombie. What have you got? Weapon XP for shops, my ring... And pure rage! I hate zombies! They're, they annoy me! No objections? Nope. Okay. So it hasn't got a lot in its pool, it's only got two cards, and none of them are toughness based, but so it's it of a persistent undead toughness of d6 plus one. Okay, I'm so using 2d6 plus three. So you're using 2d6 plus three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. So it has to lose six points worth of life cards. It loses its spike and its toughness. I'm going to touch my tree branch and slowly sidestep my tree. Drag, what are you about myself? So you're going to hide by pretending to be a tree? Or what part card, of a tree? What cards are you using? My hide. tree branch, I hide and diminutive the fact that cool. it's small. So you're hiding behind the tree branch. Congratulations. Congratulations. 